Let's talk about in-home learning. I know firsthand many of you are trying to figure out the best way to create those classrooms around the house. There are many factors to consider when it comes to where and how. Our Paula Dutman checked with experts about how to set your students up for success. Parents Log, August 25th, 2020. I'm not just a reporter reporting on education. I'm right here in it with you. This week, we've been focusing on trying to create this environment so she can truly be successful as she starts her last year in high school remotely. For students and their families about to embark on the brave new world of remote learning, your homework is just beginning as you intentionally and with thoughtfulness prepare the new learning space for your at-home student. Make sure that you give your student an area. It doesn't have to be the size of a classroom. They need a desk, a computer. Uh, some books and make it a comfortable environment for them. AJ is 14 years old and has been a remote learner at Michigan Connections Remote Academy from her home in Wayne for six years. But you also need to let them know that, hey, I'm doing school here, but it also provides them with the open space that they need, not trying to go off and do something different because, you know, kids like to do what they want. And it doesn't have to be a desk. It could be you know, if you have the, the countertop space, uh, the kitchen table, uh, whatever works for your family. Brian Kloshak is the superintendent for Michigan Connections with a student population of 1,700 students. And they've been doing this remote learning stuff for more than a decade. Education should be fun. And snacks. Um, Keep snacks around. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Very good. Yeah, fun and snacks. I mean, anything you do, you need to figure out a way to make it fun. Each child should have their own learning space, if possible. Whether you live in the Taj Mahal or a shoebox, creating a learning space is something the child can participate in. So they have buy-in, excitement, and that sense of accomplishment. I decorate my little corner that I have. I have a calendar, I have a couple paints, like little motivational things, and I have decorations all around my little desk. Make sure there is a solid internet connection and ample lighting. And keep in mind, the place you play games and take naps should not be the place for learning if possible. A lot of families have that rushed, fast-paced, first thing in the morning, dragging the kids out of bed. Uh, we don't experience that. We still get up early. We get dressed in the morning uh, just like we normally would for school. But it's not that high anxiety that you have first thing in the morning. Yeah, okay, so that's dealing with that physical space. But Karen, once you do that, and actually while you're doing that, there's another space you need to deal with, and that's your head space. We're going to talk to experts about how you get your head set in the right direction for remote learning. We're going to do that at 6. I really am going to look forward to that because I think you've got to find that right head space for the student and also for the parents as well because many of the parents are working at home yep. while they're trying to balance all of this. All right. Thank yep, you, Paula. Easier said than done. Oh, you are right on that. Still ahead here first at four. Airline companies are now competing to become the cleanest and safest.